today our topic is solving equations and inequalities. So our learning targets are how can I solve equations and inequalities and how can I solve a system of linear equations. Again, this is all review from our 8th grade MCA standards. Solving equations slash inequality steps. We remember these. Number one is distribute. Number two, combine like terms. Number three, get variable to one side. Number four, undo addition and subtraction. Number five, undo multiplication and division. Difference. What is the difference between solving equations and solving inequalities. If you remember this, the one difference is when we divide or multiply by a negative, we have to flip the inequality. and we will have some practice with this, but make sure when you divide or multiply by a negative, you flip the inequality. So that's the one difference between equations and inequalities. Solve, just some practice solving. So for the first one, we have parentheses, which means we have distribution. So we take the negative two and distribute it. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 7n is positive 14n. Combine like terms. We don't have any like terms to combine, so we get our variables to one side. I like to move the smaller one because then I don't have to work with negatives, so 5n is smaller than 14n. So I'm going to move 5n by doing minus 5n on both sides. Bring down the 34 equals negative 2. 14n minus 5n is 9n. Get the negative 2 over to join the 34 by adding 2 to both sides. We have 36 equals 9n. Lastly, divide both sides by 9. Undo this multiplication here. And we have n equals 4. Alright, so what I would like you to do is pause the video right now and try the second problem on your own. And then resume the video to see if you got it right. Parentheses mean distribute. Distribute the 2. We get 8x minus 6 minus 8 equals 4 plus 2x. Combine like terms. Negative 6 minus 8 is negative 14 equals 4 plus 2x. Make sure you bring down the 8x. Get your variables to one side. Undo the plus 2x with a minus 2x. You need those railroad tracks. Make sure you draw them in. We have 6x minus 14 equals 4. Undo subtraction with addition. Add 14 to both sides. We have 6x equals 18. Undo multiplication with division, divide both sides by 6, and you should get x equals 3. Solving inequalities. So solving inequalities is very similar to solving equations. Just have an inequality symbol now. Distribute the negative 3. Negative 3x minus 6 is less than 9. Undo minus 6 with a plus 6 on both sides. We get negative 3x is less than 15. Divide both sides by negative 3. Now this is where we have to be careful because we're dividing by a negative, which means our inequality symbol is going to flip around. We have x then is greater than 15 divided by negative 3 is negative 5. We do need to make sure we graph our solution. So put negative 5 in the middle, one number to the right, one number to the left. 
There is no equal to, so it's an open circle. And we're greater than, negative 4 is greater than negative 5, so we shade to the right. The second example, do you notice we have the absolute value inequality, which means we have those two cases. So we take the piece in the middle, negative 2x plus 1 is less than 7. We keep it the same. We just really removed these absolute value bars here. For our second situation, we're going to keep this piece in the middle, negative 2x plus 1. However, we are going to change the less than to greater than the positive 7 to negative 7. Okay, so that's the big difference. We have that second situation where we have to flip around this inequality sign and flip from positive to negative. Solve both of them. Undo plus 1 with minus 1. We get negative 2x is less than 6. Divide both sides by negative 2. And we get x, negative 3. We divided by a negative, which means we have to flip our inequality. So we have x is greater than negative 3. On our second inequality, solve it the same way. Minus 1 on both sides. We have negative 8 and negative 2x. Bring down your greater than sign. Divide both sides by negative 2. We get x and 4. We divided by a negative, which means we flip our inequality from greater than to less than. So we have two pieces here. We have x is greater than negative 3 and x is less than 4. So we need to graph both of those. So make sure we get 4. Not quite enough lines here to go by 1, so we're just going to have to add in an extra line there to get negative 3 on the graph. Now, we'll start here with x is greater than negative 3. Open circle, because there's no equal to piece, and greater than means we're going to the right. And then when we do x is less than 4, we have an open circle at 4 because there's no equal to. And 3 is less than 4, so we're going to go to the left. They meet in the middle. We remember this is a between graph, which means the word and goes in the middle of our two inequalities. If you need extra support with this, this is all in Chapter 6. You can rewatch the Chapter 6 videos.